Hi, this is Kate from Isalicious Designs and today I'm going to be showing you how to make my little beaver. Now I don't have brown bands at the moment, they're on order and they're not here yet so we're doing a grey one. So bear with me on the colour but at least it'll give you an idea on how to make him. So there we go, our little beaver. We're going to have our loom with the open ends facing towards us, the offset, so that's arrows facing towards us, the offset is going to be that the first, third, fourth and sixth column are all going to be the same height, the second and the fifth are going to be one peg down from them, okay? We are going to double band, always double band. Double banding means you take two bands at the same time and you place them as if they were one band. It gives a more thicker, firmer feel to your little figurine. Okay, so we will get started. Unless I tell you otherwise, we're going to be double banding. Three grey bands along the top. And then we're going to come down two grey bands on either side. The colours that you're going to need are going to be grey, a light grey, a black, and that's all. You're going to need two white pony beads and a black pony bead and two little white seed beads. Get some light grey. I'm doing this around his muzzle. I'm going to take one band here, stretch it out, do a figure eight, loop it back on itself and place it across here. Okay, now we're going to do his neck, back to the double bands. over to his shoulders I can honestly say I have never ever felt so harassed to do a tutorial as I have for this one unfortunately it makes me feel no love for this character because I feel pressured into making it and um, I'm really sorry about that. Two grey bands down the side here. I'm going to move to the light grey for his chest and the light grey will go all the way down to the end Here we're going to splay out to do his haunches. <coughs> Sorry, I'm coughing. We've all got colds in this family at the moment. We do three grey bands down.
couple of people have said that I should be counting the bands for them as I'm making this tutorial. I'm sorry I don't do that. Um, I think seeing as you can actually see the loom and you have a loom in front of you, you can work out where I am on the loom. You also have the ability to pause the video if you think I'm going too fast or you've missed something and you can catch up or you can see exactly what I've done from a, from a still frame. Um, I, I'm sorry, that's just the way I'm making these, these video tutorials. They are hard to make, they take a long time, they're very frustrating. Half the time you have to keep on uploading them to YouTube uh, because things crash or your vid video editing software conks out. It took me 36 hours to do the GNOME um, tutorial only to have one of the first comments being you're going too fast, I can't make this. I'm sorry but if somebody says something like that perhaps they should go back and do a fishtail bracelet. They might have no, no business trying to attempt a figurine. rant over. Going sideways here. When we get to this bottom one, we're going to take a single band, stretch it, figure eight, loop it on itself, and put it here. And that's effectively acting as an end cap. We're going to make his feet. Take two black bands, put your hook through, wrap it once and twice and then get three black bands and you're going to put that on the end of your hook and slide this bit over onto these three black bands like that and that is going to go here so we take two black bands put it on your hook wrap it, wrap it Wrap it. See? You're good at wrapping. Oh, three black bands. Slide it on. And this one will go the opposite side here. There we go. Now his arms are going to go on these two little pegs. So grab a single band and you're going to wrap that once, twice, three times. Grab two bands and you're going to slide that on. Like so. And catch the other end of your hook. Now go for your dark grey bands and you're going to slide on and catch the end. Another two. Slide on, catch the end. Now with this next one we're going to be a bit different. You're going to get two bands but you're going to drop those front two off your hook. Make sure you don't lose them, hang on to them if you can. Slide the two bands, the new two bands on the end of your hook slide that over and catch and then place those bands back on get another two bands and again we're just going to put those two on it and catch so you've basically got it like this <coughs> two bands on the end 
and you're going to slide all of those onto that pair of bands like that and that's to give him sort of a more rotund looking little arm and that's going to go on his shoulder peg here and we're going to do the same for the other side single band oops that's a grey one it's not what I want I want a black one wrap it around once twice three times get two black bands slide them on catch the end and then you're going to go with your grey bands two on the end slide over and recapture two on the end slide over recapture now we get to the funky bit you're going to pull the end one off hold that up two on the end here slide over recapture put your bands back take another two slide over recapture and then you're going to grab another two And they will put all of them on that, recapture the end of your bands, and they will go on this other shoulder. There we go. Make sure to push it down, otherwise, it's difficult to put the next set of bands on. We're going to do his ears. For his ears, you're going to take two bands and you're going to wrap them around your hook once, twice, three times you're going to get two bands and you're going to slide these on like that now normally we would do that this time we're not we're taking it off the hook and we're going to flare open these bands and find the matching ones so you hold it you hold one from each side and pull it open now that is not the right set which means this one probably lives with that one and this one probably lives with that one and that's right you can see a slight hole between them so now that we've found the bands that the ends that match up to the same band we're going to pop one on this peg here and the other on this peg here one side oopsie two sides I like that I'm going to do the same on the other side two bands wrap it once twice three times two bands slide them over straighten your bands out a bit if they're all sort of twisted and then you're going to splay these out remember splay these out to find the corresponding other band other end those two match and these two match oh I'm being a fumble finger tonight I'm going to put my hook through it. Come here. There we go. All right. So on this side, and then the other one to go on this side. Okay. Now. We're going to do our crossover bands. You're going to take a single band, stretch it out, and it's going to go across all six columns. And then when you have the ones that have only two pegs, you're going to take a single band and you're just going to stretch those across. 
this basically ties it all in together so that you're not going to have bits that have gaping holes. Here where you've just got two little pins close together you're going to take a single band you're going to figure eight it and loop it on itself and put it over and the same for here and the same for here this one will go all the way across I'm going to go one all the way across from here to here and there's going to be a stretch figure eight and on itself okay so his face we're going to take a single band stretch it figure eight and loop it on itself and put it across here and one here as well and that will keep his face from falling apart over here we're going to attach his teeth we're going to put our pony beads on a band I use my 2.75 hook thread my beads on and pull my band across then I'm going to put one end here and the other end over here and then move my teeth come here teeth down to the middle here if my hook would let go and make sure that the band is under both of these two middle pegs okay if you have a look here see it's under and under all right a little bit later when we've pulled them off the loom we're going to have another bear another band threaded through and it will pull the teeth down now we're going to do his nose, we're going to do the same thing, thread a grey band through his nose and that is going to go from side to side. So that is acting as our crossover band between the two sides. Okay. We're going to do his tail after the fact. We've got his crossover bands, his legs, his arms, his teeth, his nose. I think we're actually ready to loom. All right, let me get some stuff out the way so I don't knock it everywhere. Starting down here, this is acting as our end cap. So we're going to go in behind it and grab the two grey bands and link them up to his foot. So make sure that the bands on the foot are pushed all the way down. Hold on to the end cap and loop up like so. Do the same on the other side, loop up. Now we're going to go down through his foot and find the top two bands, which are these two grey ones. Pull it out and loop it across. And then get the next two, pull them up and loop those. I'm going to do the same over here, dig down past all these bands and find the two top grey ones, did I get him? I got him. Now find the next two which will go above. Now we're going to take this band and move it above those two pegs, grab these and just loom them up. Now we'll loom up to here.
the arms. Now, leave these ones here, do from the arms to the neck next. Because that then loops in these little arms. And then we know that they are securely anchored and will not fall off when you take them off the loom. Next we go from the torso up to the neck. From the neck up to the head. And now we don't band this one that we double looped. So we're going to find the top one that is under that. That's acting as a cap band. That's to the side, and the same on the other side. Go under that cap band, grab those two, and pull up. Dig down, find the bands. Now, I like to do the sides and then the uh, middle. Like so. It doesn't matter which way you go, but go down one of these and grab the bottom two bands and pull them to the other side. Now we're going to go down through that. I'm just checking that we've got teardrops all the way. We do. We're going to go down here, poke it out the side, grab two grey bands and twist your hook slightly as you're going past those bands. Pull it up through the channel of that peg and out behind to the back side of it. Reattach your bands to your hook and take the two that are closest to you, lift them up and over and off your hook and pull tight. And that's a slip knot. Now we're going to take them off the loom. I'll use the back of my crochet hook, a metal crochet hook. If I was to use a plastic one, I would be sure that it would break. I've broken about three so far, so I just use metal now. I find it's safer and cheaper. When you get to a certain stage, you can just lift the rest off gently. There we go, move that out of the way for now. Let's stretch him out and give him his form. Now, his face, you're going to find everything's on the back here. Push through his nose, like so. Push through his teeth, like so. And we're going to dig out his ears. They're in here. You can feel them, they're thicker. There's one. And then look the other side. There's the other. So pull those out. Now we're going to see how his teeth, there's no sort of control of them, they're sort of bloop. So what we need to do is get another band and a thin crochet hook, straighten up his teeth to how you want them. Thread your hook through 
and you're going to pull another band through those teeth. Now these are going to pull downwards so that means that we have to push our hook through his neck and I usually go through about here grab the end of the band and pull it through to the back here keeping it attached to your hook and you're holding the other side of the band in your hand on the other side you're going to get a clip and secure the end of that band on a clip like so next we're going to go through the same the same spot on the other side so we were about here we're going to do the same on the other side about here grab the end of the band and pull it through I didn't pull it through a very good spot there but I can just push my hook through here grab the band and pull it I'm going to attach that to the other side of the clip fancy that like so now we need to faff around with his teeth a bit he's all tight there push them inside there's sort of like a little gap in there push them inside that gap okay because that's where they have to sit because they will pop out they're only beads but if you can try and get them inside that gap and then move a couple of the bands just so that they secure the teeth in place they kind of hold them in place a bit these these two gray bands here either side they kind of hold the, the teeth in place okay now we've got eyes to do and we've got his whiskers to come out see here's our finished one so we've got whiskers and we've got eyes for his eyes get two grey bands and using a metal threader and I have a YouTube video showing you how to make a metal threader pop your band onto your threader and we're going to thread that through a tiny little seed bead okay just like that and we're going to do that to the other one as well pull it through to about halfway and what we're going to do is attach his eyes here okay and you're going to put your hook through from the back of his head through to the front grasp one end of the band and pull it through his head holding the other side still in your fingers so you don't lose it keep a hold of the end of the band and we're going to want to clip it if you can attach it to the other clip but I think you might need a new one I'm going to use a new one okay Urgh. now approximate the angle that you want his eye to be at and the other one has to be at the same spot push your hook through where you want that angle to be grab the band and you're going to pull it through and pull it tight okay like that now I would make his eyes quite close to his nose because every badger I've met oh it's not a badger is it it's a beaver um, <laughs> has uh, eyes that are quite small and next to his nose so there we have one eye and we'll do our next eye again as you see I've got mine is facing this way on this one you'll I want to do the same I want to do exactly the same for this one otherwise he's going to have really really wonky looking eyes 
So pushing it through the same spot but on the other side of his head. Grab one, pop it on the band. Now we're going to find the spot corresponding. I was down here, so I need to be down here. Right there. Grab it and pull it through. Did I get it? I think I did. Wow. I'm not 100% sure that that is the right band. I'm going to redo that one. Ah, and it was too. So I'm going through here, grab the band, pull it through. Now I'm certain it's the right one. And we're going to attach that to the back of this clip too, like that. So now, fix his teeth up, we have our eyes in place, our nose, I've got two bands floating around the back here. I would normally put a, um, a keychain holder for these, but if you don't want to, what you can do is just tuck under a band, tuck it under a band so it's at the back or attach it to um, a clip down the back here. All you have to do is just pull them so that they're out of the way. There we go. Every time I do that I mess up his teeth. Okay, now with a sharpie We're going to draw his pupils on, and they'll be very small ones. <clears throat> Just little tiny dots. Like that. we have better give him some whiskers. Okay, for his whiskers, what we're going to do is thread some black bands through the pony bead like so and get a bunch of them and as you're pulling make sure you hold the one in place that you've already got through so that you don't lose that one I just leave them in, in place like that um, and snip the ends like so. It's not the most secure but it's terribly easy to replace if you wanted to. I guess you could um, tie a knot in them before pulling them through. Um, that's completely up to you. Alright, now we're going to do his tail and his tail is going to be really easy. Let me just move my rubbish out of the way and set my loom up so you know what on earth I'm doing. It's all going to be grey. You're going to start tapered and we're probably going to go down about 10 and just come back up. So let's do that together. and take two bands, wrap them on themselves in a figure eight and that will be a spot to sort of use to secure on. So 
set one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now stop at eight because we've already got nine and ten here. Oops, just dropped a band in there. Now we're going to move this one across to here. And the equivalent of an end cap here, we're going to get a single band, stretch, loop it on itself and pop it here. We're now going to put crossover bands to keep it all in place. And then in the little spots where there's just the two, you just don't want any gaping holes. And then we are ready to start with our looping. So from down here, you're going to take the Go under this end cap, grab the two top bands and move them across to the corresponding peg, like so. With this you're going to lift them up and then you can loom above and above. I'm 
make sure you're just grabbing two bands and not more digging in front of that crossover band Okay, then loom across. And then this one, just pick which which side you're going to go with and it goes across like so and then we're going to get two grey bands and tie that off so dig down poke it out the edge put your bands on twist your hook so it doesn't get caught on those bands pull it round the back side of the peg reattach your bands and take the ones closest to you pull it over the top and pull tight and then let's take this carefully off our loom. Stretch it out a bit. Now this is going to attach, it's a little bit bigger than the other one, but that's okay. This can be the daddy one and this can be the mummy one. Okay, <laughs> this is going to get attached to his backside. And the way I'm going to do it is take, I've got two ends here. I'm going to thread one through that side and one through that side. And then pull it back the other side again. Okay, so I'm going to stab my hook through his thigh pull one side through do the same on the other side in the same spot stab him through his thigh and pull that band through pull them nice and tight and that's going to want to be in the middle so tight and tight 
and then pull it back through here. So you have to put your hook this side and not in the same spot that you just hooked that through because otherwise it will just go back on itself and pull it through. Let go. Okay, so I have both here. I'm going to put my hook through there quickly just to show you. So I have both sides here. Now what I'm going to do is stretch this one out and pop it over the tail. I'm going to do the same on the other side. Stretch it out and poke his tail through it. And that's kind of knotted it in place so that he can actually stand up as well. Make sure his teeth are there and uh, there he is.